And this can either be a coyote or a wolf, take your pick. Uh, I've got two 260s light brown, each with about three inches uninflated on the end. I've got a black 260 and I've just pulled the little bubble on the end of it and tied it off close to that bubble. And then a five inch round that I've blown up to maybe an inch or a little less. Obviously that's gonna be the eyeballs. Now we're gonna start with one of our 260s, uh, light brown, and then we're gonna take our black and just gonna tie these two together so that the black is right up, the little bubble is right up against the end of our light brown 260. This is gonna be the nose, obviously. Then all this excess we're just gonna trim off. Then right behind that black, we're gonna make a pair of pinch twists. So make a small bubble in the light brown, make that a pinch twist. And then another one, make that a pinch twist as well. That's gonna be the mouth for our coyote. We're gonna put the nose right up above it, just like that. It's gonna stay better when we finish his muzzle. So we're gonna make about a two and a half to three inch bubble. And we're gonna make another little pinch twist, the back of that. And then we're gonna complete his muzzle by making two more bubbles just like this one here. We're gonna come up and twist into these two pinch twists and then come back. So there's our first one. And then our second one comes back just like that. And there's his muzzle and with the two lifts, that's got him where he's got his nose and he's up howling at the moon. Now we're gonna make a pair of ears, so make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble. Make another one just like it. And then we're gonna make a pair of fold twists to give him his cheeks. So make a fold twist where it's about maybe two or so fingers wide once it's folded. Another one on the other side, the same size. Just like that. And there's his basic head. We've got his ears, his cheeks, there's his muzzle, his lips and his nose there. And then what we want to do, we're not going to give him much of a neck. We want it there so it's going to push up, so we're going to measure his body out to about a four inch bubble. And then put a little pinch twist. And what's left is going to be his tail. Let's go ahead and put his eyes on. We're going to take our five inch round, divide it into two equal size bubbles. And then we're going to bring those up from the bottom of his muzzle. And one around either side and then put them up on top of his head, cross them over to lock him in place. And that also kind of pushes his ears back. So there's his head. Now we're gonna take our second 260 and starting it up under his head, we're gonna take the nozzle and twist it right up in there. Secure that in place. Now we're gonna come down and give him his front legs, and you want it so that he'll stand. So you want it to come, if you've got him sitting like this, picture a line straight across from here to here for his front legs. And we're gonna give two little pinch twists to represent his feet here, and it helps him sit straight. I mean, excuse me, two little fold twists, not pinch twists. And then one little pinch twist, twist in between those to separate them and flatten them out. Just like that. Then we're gonna come back up with another front leg the same size as our other one here. Twist that back in around his head to lock that in place. And now we're gonna go down and complete his body. So we need a bubble the same size as this body bubble here. Twist that into the pinch twist at the back. Now we're gonna get his back legs. And again, like I said, we want him sitting, so Picture him sitting like this, and for his back legs, just so you'll get a nice little angle straight across there. Make a bubble. Twist that into those two fold twists for his front legs. And then another bubble the same size to come back to his tail. And then we're gonna come back up and complete his body with a bubble back up along here. So one more bubble about the same size as these for his body. Twist that into all these bubbles you've got up here for his head. Any excess that you have, just pop off. You don't need it anymore. 
sure that leaves in. Bring his tail back around. Tuck that in there nicely. His tail. And now he's sitting up. Give him some eyes. And there, you have your little coyote who's sitting out howling at the moon. <laughs>